Welcome back to the channel guys and for anybody new thanks for stopping in. Back working on the Mustang today and we're going to go ahead and do some wiring. I'm going to show you guys how to make a like do it yourself budget fuse panel for right around $40. Since I bought this car as a roller my primary objective was to get it running and driving as fast as possible. In doing so I only really worried about two relays. One being the fuel pump relay and one being the cooling fan relay and I ran them right here in the factory fuse panel since I had some open slots. Um, now that I have the car together and I've driven it about 100 miles, um, I'm just preparing for the next step, which is to get things like my trans brake sorted out, boost solenoid. So I don't really have any more real estate to put any more relays. Uh, that's why I'm going to go ahead and make this uh, relay and fuse panel today. So all the materials I'm going to be using can be found on Amazon pretty cheap. Um, I'm going to start here with the relays. I only need four, but I purchased six. Uh, it's better to have spares just laying around. And then these ones also have this pretty cool like locking tab style feature where you can slide them together and they lock together. Um, I've already done them three and three just because of how I want to set my panel up. Uh, next, I'm going to use this um, fuse, uh, just fuse panel. And this one has a big power and big ground input, like a bust connection. So you have all your grounds and all your powers separate here. So you probably want to run like four gauge here and like 12 gauge out. And then I have some bus bars. And these are going to be for the inputs and outputs of our relays. So what goes to the ECU and what goes to the actual component that they're powering. And then I also just have some basic connectors here. You don't have to buy any this big. I uh, just bought this many because I'll end up using them on whatever future projects. And then last but not least, you're just going to need this like ABS uh, plastic sheet uh, to mount everything to. You could also do metal. I've seen people do tote lids also. Uh, anything really works, just however you want to set it up. Some of the extra materials I'm going to use for my relay panel. I'm going to start with this uh, braided wire wrap, and this is going to do my inputs and outputs out, uh, out into the relay panel just to keep everything from rubbing or getting worn through. Uh, I'm going to use this solid state relay. Uh, this is going to be for my bump and staging brake controls on my transmission. I have this micro switch that I'm going to hook up to my shifter, so when I put the shifter in reverse, it activates the trans brake and I don't have to try to hold the button and back up at the same time. I have some weather pack connectors, and this is just so um, I can put everything in one connector so if I need to service the panel or add on to it later, I can just uh, unplug everything and take it out whenever I need. I have the crimper for the weather pack pins and weather seals, and about 200 feet of 12 gauge wire. They do sell pre-made uh, fuse panels, relay panels just like this. Um, one like this with six relays is right around the tune of $180. And while it looks nice, um, I'd rather just save the money and do it myself on the cheaper end and then also, you know, set up everything exactly how I want it to be. So the next step of this project is to uh, make your own little wiring schematic. Uh, this is just made with some notebook paper and some crayons. It doesn't have to be anything pretty or fancy. Uh, I just started with writing down what uh, circuits I wanted to control and where I, the wires needed to be. And then I went ahead and said, okay, you know, this is where I want my fuse panel to be in relation. And I want the, my relay here. Um... And where this translates is right over onto the board. So I came up with something like this. This is just a mock-up right now. But I will come back when I have it wired up and show you guys what that looks like. I got everything wired up. So all the powers are here. All the grounds are here. And then the trigger wires and the outputs all go to these bus bars. Um, and then I ran these out to some weather pack connectors on each side. So I'll be able to just uh, unplug them and pull this whole thing out if I need to. Uh, I have two empty ones here. So in case I need to add anything else later on, I have room for that. And uh, the only thing is the sheet I picked is kind of flimsy. So I actually went to Home Depot and uh, picked up this sheet of acrylic for like eight bucks. It's a lot thicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer all of this onto that and see how that turns out. I got everything mounted on this uh, acrylic sheet. I do love that it is see-through. If you're going to go this route, um, make sure you use dish soap on your drill bits and go slow so you don't crack it. Um, they're very easy to crack uh, if you just try to send a screw through it or try to drill through it too fast or too hard. Um, got it sitting here on my rear seat delete panel. Uh, it goes in the back. And I'm actually going to mount it something like this. Um, I'm going to drill some holes through here to send it through so it all just looks nice and clean. And everything will be under the seat where the uh, power wire for the battery runs anyway. If you guys like this video, uh, consider leaving a like, subscribing, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment and I will get back to them as soon as I can. Uh, I'll have a video in the future about wiring all, all these relays into the holly and how everything's going to work, so stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks for watching.